be it, guys. Um, about maps, uh, it's intimidation station. That's the only reason why you're there. They're intimidating the truth out of you. Be honest from the jump, and then you don't have anything to be scared about. What's up, YouTube? Dang, it's been a minute. <laughs> the FedEx guy is looking at me like I'm crazy. It's alright. Let me get into this video. Order the three. Hard work, work. Let me go and earn my pay. Hard work, work. Boots on and lace them up. What's up, YouTube? Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, this quick video. You know what? It's not going to be quick. I'm not even going to say that. This is about my MEPS experience. Let me just start this video by saying... It was a physical. Y'all be hyping stuff up so big on YouTube, like, but I guess you have to hype things up to some extent, or your channel is not interesting, I guess. But MEPS is not that big of a deal. Like, some of y'all really, y'all be having like 20,000 likes on this bullshit, and I'm like, it was a physical, okay? So, you wait. But how long have all of us been waiting to enlist or to commission into one of the branches of the military? Like, that's a part of the process. So, yeah. So, okay, welcome to MEPS, right? We get off the bus. If you guys stay in a hotel, the hotel was what it was. It was a hotel. You know, it was a pretty decent hotel. It wasn't the nicest that I've ever stayed in. It wasn't the worst. It was a decent hotel. The room was average. Actually, the room was a little subpar. Government. <laughs> the room was a little subpar. The, the facade of the hotel was nice. It gave the impression of a nice hotel. But you could tell that it was an old hotel hadn't been renovated in quite some time or hadn't had any quality re uh, renovations in a while so it was an average hotel um so that was that the food was disgusting maybe i'm a bit of a food snob whatever it wasn't that great um i had the chicken don't eat the chicken the, the guy in the lounge said don't eat the chicken and my ass is like well i'm not trying have no fatty ass cheeseburger so guess who's eating the chicken but guess who was disappointed that she ordered the chicken don't order the chicken it's simple don't order the chicken it's terrible i ordered the chicken and i was hungry so one of the other recruits uh very kindly um gave me some of his turkey sandwich which he didn't have to do but i was hungry and everyone saw that I was hungry. I could have purchased the meal, but I was like, this nasty ass food, I'm not gonna waste my money buying food and I'm getting some for free. So I just ate the protein and I left the rest of that shit on the plate. It was terrible. Anyway, so that's the hotel. The people are the people, they're cool. Um, I wasn't, you know, I didn't expect to make any friends. I did meet one guy that was my age who was easy to talk to um naturally you know what i mean like you gravitate towards people of similar experience so we were the same age he was an officer in the army and he was uh transitioning to becoming an officer in the air force so we had plenty to talk about um i tried to pretend like i understood what some of the kids were going through like just out of high school i have no idea it's been a long time guys I'm not being a snob, I'm not being an ageist, I just don't talk about the same shit that you guys talk about. 
no shame none at all it just it's a fact like so i tried to connect in ways that i could but i didn't really try that hard it's like look guys um I'm going to be cool, you know what I mean? I'm not going to age shame you. I'm not going to make you feel stupid for not knowing certain things. But are we going to be besties? Probably not. And I'm okay with that, you know what I mean? So anyway, that was the hotel. It was cool. The people were cool. I don't have any complaints except for don't eat the fucking chicken. It's disgusting. All right, done with the chicken. So wake up the next day. You get a wake-up call. You got to be down for breakfast at 4, no later. Be there, I would say be there like 10 minutes to 4 just to be on top of shit. Get down there a little early. Um, breakfast opens. To be honest, the food was trash. Um, my eggs, everything tasted the same. So they used the same grease to make the eggs, to cook the potatoes. Everything, the bacon, everything, they, they used the same grease for everything. Um, so, you know. But I knew that I had to eat. So let me pause there. Make sure you eat. Do not, it's, even if you're at your max weight or whatever and you're nervous about being heavy that day, you're eating at four o'clock in the morning. Depending on where your MEPS is, it may take a good 45 minutes to an hour to get there. By the time you get settled and you get your height and weight checked, that food is gonna have been digested you won't feel heavy. Don't eat heavy, obviously, but put something in your stomach. Because let me tell you, you will be irritable, cranky as fuck, frustrated, and angry if you don't eat. Because it's a long day and you, you have to have something that is fueling your body. I thought for five seconds that I wasn't going to eat. And then I was like, that's stupid as hell. You got a long day ahead of you. Just put something in your stomach. I'm glad I did. My advice for breakfast, have protein, um, skip the juice, you know what I mean? Like you can go a day without juice. Don't have orange juice, cranberry juice, apple juice, it's, this shit is full of sugar. You don't need anything spiking your insulin. Just don't do it, don't have juice, just have water. As a matter of fact, have a lot of fucking water. My recommendation is, the before I got to the hotel, I went to Wawa, or whatever your local convenience store is, I got a 44 ounce cup of ice water and then I just was filling that up throughout the day. So I have plenty of water. So you want to stay hydrated. For breakfast, I had like more, about half of my plate was eggs. So I filled up on eggs. I had one piece of bacon and a couple potatoes just to add a little bit of variety on my plate. I didn't have any condiments. I kept it simple. I did have a couple of pieces of, um, like cantaloupe and honeydew melon. Um, I really, really, really wanted an apple, but that wasn't available to us. So, you know, I tried to keep it, I tried to keep my plate as diverse as possible, but I didn't want a bunch of processed meat or I didn't have any waffles or any of the baked goods. I just stayed away from that shit. I recommend that you do too. Load up on protein that morning. If you need some kind of oats, my recommendation would be to like have a cup, a half a cup of oatmeal, some eggs, you know what I mean? Just keep it simple, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so breakfast was what it was. Um, there was an a older gentleman who was an um, a army veteran who was kind of getting us in line. You know, I respected him, respected his service. He offered quite a, you know, some decent advice, especially for young people who have never gone to college. He wanted to make sure that they understood how to take advantage of their GI Bill, etc. Um, it was it was quality information and it was motivational. He seemed like a decent guy, just trying to help. Um, and he he was a sweetheart. Um, you get on the bus, everybody throws in their headphones. You go to maps. Once you get to maps, you are encouraged to get off the bus swiftly. No one is yelling at you, but they're not nice, guys. So don't expect for nobody to hold your hand. They're not your parents. They're not your mentors. You know, they're not your teachers. They are trying to get you processed. So don't be expecting people to be nice to you. You're, joining, you're becoming a soldier, okay? Cut, cut all that baby shit out. Go there with the expectation that people are not going to be your friend. People are not going to be nice. That's not their job. So just keep that in mind and you won't get your feelings hurt. 
But if you're expecting people to handhold you and baby you and shit, you're not going to make it out of MEPS. Um, so they're like, move with intention, move with some purpose. Like they, they basically, guys, they want you to get the fuck off the bus and do so swiftly. That's it. Okay? That's, their, that's the only purpose. So don't be in your feelings about it. They're just trying to process you as quickly as possible. There's a lot of people, they got a lot of shit to get done, and they need you to move like you have somewhere to be. So you get in these lines, they brief you, kind of. They're just telling you the, the, the laws of the land. They want you to be respectful. They don't want you to do no, no stupid shit. Answer the questions honestly. They're trying to intimidate you a little before you go in. When you go inside, you get your bin, you go through a metal detector. It is not like the TSA. So all of the other MEPS videos, it's like, oh, it's like airport security. It's nothing like airport security. I've traveled all over the world. It's nothing like that. It's a fucking, it's a metal detector, okay? It's not like airport security. It's nothing like it. You're just going through a metal detector like you would any government building. If you go into your mayor's office, if you live in a, a major city, they have metal detectors. That's more of what it's like. Okay, so that's that. All right. You go through the metal detector. You put all your shit in a bin. You put Once you get through the other side, you go into a, a locked room. Um, you put your bin away. You will not have access to your bag, your cell phone, or any other electronic device for the rest of the day. So just hang it up. Text who you got to text while you're on the bus and expect that you won't have access to your phone. Um, the most you can bring is a book. I had a Sudoku puzzle book and I couldn't even use that shit. They were just like, a book, something that you can read, the end, good night. So, that was it for me. Um, but yeah, you put yourself away, you go to your li liaison's office, every branch separates at that point. You get your name tag, your badge has your, um, it's just a sticker. It has your name, your social security card, the branch of service, and a letter. The letter is a code. So some people will have the letter S, F, G, whatever. Um, my letter was an F. F meant at my MEPS that I was, I had to do a physical and I was preparing to enlist that day. If you had an F with a line underneath, that meant that you were there to do your physical only. You were not there to do your physical and enlist, just the physical. So each letter, I think S was for shippers, naturally. So, you know, each person, so they knew where you were going and what your intention was for being at MEPS that day. That's that. Now you, now it's time to like get shit popping. On my way to MEPS, right? Right. Today is... Sunday, September 16th, and we are on the road to be dropped off at my recruiter's office, and um, Sergeant Gates is going to take me to the hotel, and you all know how this goes, stay at the hotel, wake up at an ungodly hour, and get on the bus, and go to MEPS. For me, um, MEPS is at Fort Dix in New Jersey, so that is where we will be going tomorrow morning. Uh, but yeah, just checking in. 